What's going on guys, welcome back to another video. Logitech sent out all of their new KDA Music times League of Legends collab products. Now, there's only one new product here that I'm like aware of and it's this headphone. So this is the G33 in-ear earbuds and this is actually a new product Logitech made so I'm super excited to test this one out but everything here is just like different designs it's really cool and we're gonna go through everything show the unboxing give my first impressions without any further ado let's get started <laughs> Alright guys, so the first thing we're going to take a look at is this KDA G840 mousepad. I actually love these mousepads. I'm currently using the smaller version and it's almost like rubbing out. I did a one wash, but I think it's worth an upgrade. So let's go ahead and open this. Alright, there we go. Finally got it to open. And I wanted to do the mousepad first because I'm actually going to leave it here. But yo, it's actually blue. I thought it would have been a black mousepad. Right, this is sick. So this is the mousepad right here. This is gonna run oh so well on the super light. But there we go. Sheesh. Now nah, this is a sick mousepad. This is actually my first like colorful mousepad. And the threading, everything is nice. You know it's from Logitech, so it's gonna be super good. So yes guys, let me know what you think about this mousepad down below in the comments. And do you think Logitech should start making more print mousepads? Because the design on this is actually nice, I think they should start doing it. Comment down below, Logitech, if you're watching this, you know what to do. Next up, guys, we're going to look at Logitech G Pro keyboard. Now, this is an OG keyboard. At the back right here, you could see the KDA all out and the character names on it. On the front right here, you can see all the different characters. If you're wondering, we're using the Logitech GX Brown tactile switches on this one. I'm not sure if it comes with different switches, but mine are the brown switches. And let's unbox this thing. There we go. It's a box inside another box, guys. Love to see it. Oh my God, bro. This keyboard, nice braided cable, I like it. You also get your Logitech stickers. I have so much of these stickers, guys, but I just keep storing them. I love it, all right. There we go, first off, just look at the back. See that we have different levels, four degree angle. If you type of that person, then we have the eight degree angle, which I always opt for. We actually have five rubber feet stoppers around the back right here. One, two, three, four, five. So this is not gonna slide around. And also on the elevation, it also has rubber feet. Switching the keyboard over and God damn, that's beautiful. This G Pro keyboard is insane. Let me know what you guys think. The details on this guys is next level. You have the crown on the arrow keys. Like, whew. This keyboard actually sounds good too. Of course, the stabilizers need some work. It's on the right side. You have this League of Legend text. So you guys can see right there. And then all around here is this nice, I would say plastic. Nice finished plastic, glossy finished plastic around. On the top, you have the USB, micro USB port. Whenever you need to connect it, boom. Simple as that, it's not going anywhere. It looks neat. And if you want to, you could use your own cable as well. But yeah, that's a pretty sick build right here. Next up, we have to grab a mouse, and this is the G502. This is a very popular mouse, especially when you play any games like League of Legends. All the different customizable buttons are gonna come in clutch. This mouse, I think I would actually use for video editing as well, since you guys know I edit a lot of videos, and all those customizable buttons, I could add my macros and all of that. This is what it looks like, guys. This is the wired version, if you're wondering. And yeah, it's actually really nice, it feels ergonomic but I'm not a big fan of this mouse when it comes on to gaming but I know a lot of people like it I have the sniper button which is one two three four five six seven eight nine 
you have up to nine customizable buttons that's insane if you love to customize things you play games that you need a lot of custom buttons this is gonna be the one that you want to opt for especially with this design you can't go wrong with it another mouse that we have is actually my first ever gaming mouse and this is the logitech g 305 so this mouse is really nice and it's very affordable i think i paid around 40 canadian dollars for it at the time and i was actually coming from the logitech mx master and my friend was like yo you're not you're not playing games that using that mx master right and i was like yeah and they was like yo you need to switch to a gaming mouse I was like, yo, I don't really need a gaming mouse, but when I switched over to this, I was like, yo, the it feels way lighter. I was hitting more headshots, and then I was like, all right, if this feels so good, imagine what the G Pro would feel like. Then, I, whew, look at this, damn. Then I was like, all right, let me buy a G Pro, and that's how I got into the um gaming mouse scene. Shout out to my friend Shmeek if you're watching this. He was the one that told me to buy a gaming mouse. But yeah, this is insane. The design is so nice. Very lightweight mouse. It's also wireless. So it has the light speed technology. It does use a single battery inside. I think it's a double A, which Logitech actually usually provides. Put this battery in. You have the receiver, very small receiver. This is the mouse. I've seen people do a lot of things to get this mouse down to a very lightweight. If it's if this would be like a good gaming mouse, first gaming mouse. Side buttons are very nice. Taking a closer look at the details, you can see that we have the KDA logo right here. All this nice matrix kind of neon lines going around it. G logo. The mouse feet, fairly good. I like them. But yeah, I'd rather to use this over this big boy right here but that's just my personal opinion a lot of people always ask me about this headset and i always tell them yo it's not the best when it comes on to like bass but good sound and game audio it's there directional audio it's there lightweight and comfort it's there mic quality it's not the best even though it has blue voice it's definitely not the best mic quality but then again it's a gaming headset what can you expect right so here it is KDA on the side, G73, you turn this on, you already know the RGB is gonna go crazy. So let's turn it on and look at that guys. Look at the RGB on the headset, that's insane. You could also like remove the air cups if you want to. But the reason why I love these headset is it's super customizable. So you could switch out and buy another headband, put them on, boom, that's how it look. Can't tell me I'm not fresh on stream right now. But inside here, this is where the mic is. So let's open this box. If you want to put on this mic, you can see it's very flexible. And what I love about these blue enabled product is that you could go into the software and switch up the mic to your liking or use presets that everyone uses. But look how flexible this is. Like you're not breaking this thing. All right guys, so this is what the headset microphone sounds like. And if I go into the settings, you can see we have tons of different EQ and all of that stuff we could play around with. But for the microphone settings, you could enable or disable blue voice. So this is without blue voice and with blue voice enabled. And you have tons of different presets you could choose from, which is really cool. It also has side tone so you can hear yourself, which is basically mic monitoring. We have the light speed receiver since these headphones are not Bluetooth. So you need to hook that up to get it to work. One downside I would say is that this doesn't have an auxiliary port. So you can't really connect it to anything without using the USB receiver. And yeah, that's it. All right, guys, last but not least, we have my pride and joy, the Logitech G333. Kind of a cool name. We have the slip right here. This feels really premium compared to the rest. Ooh wee. You're already telling us how many things we could connect to. I always wanted some nice in-air earbuds because like I have this kind of hair. Sometimes when you just do your hair, you don't want to mess it up. So now we have these. Man, let's see. Okay. It does have some nice um sound isolation i'm probably talking super low or high because 
I can't really hear my normal tone right now because it's just isolating the sound. So these are the inline controls right here of the volume up, the volume down, and the media pause play button could activate Siri, double tap to go forward, triple tap to go backward, you know the standard, but yeah, this is really nice. The good thing is it does come with a 3.5 millimeter adapter or a dongle to USB type C because a lot of phones nowadays are rocking USB type C. So if your phone is using USB type C, you just plug this in, then plug this end into your smartphone or your PC, or your tablet, whatever it is. But if your phone is using a lightning cable, then you'd have to get the one from Apple or some third party ones from Amazon. Logitech also provides these interchangeable ear tips. So if you have a larger earlobe or whatever it is, you could switch them out to see which one fits nicer or just in case you lose one, you have some backup as well. We also have this nice carrying case that we could store the earbuds in. As you guys can see, it's mesh, it's breathable, it's nice. Logitech really thought about this and I like it. All right, now this is a mic test with the G33. As you guys can see, it doesn't have any Logitech G Hub features or anything like that. It's just an inline mic. You can't mute it or anything. There's nothing you could do. So it picks up all the background noise. But if you're wondering, this is what it sounds like. All right guys, so that's gonna be it for today's video. Let me know down below in the comments which product was your favorite, which one would you be picking up? Do you like the collab? Do you think Logitech should start making more collabs like this? Let me know down below in the comments, but my favorite has to be the keyboard and also the in-ear buds. I love those, man. But I'm super excited to use these over the weekend and have some fun. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a like, smash that subscribe button. We're on the way to 100K. Thanks again to Logitech for sending all these products out for me to test. As always, guys, love, peace, and tweaks. Signing out.